Good morning guys, it's me once again with another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom tour review and this time we're going to be taking a look at Claire with the Gyrosphere. As obvious, before I get to reviewing the figure itself, I'll go ahead and get the package. Because I just want to get this out the way. <laughs> the package fits the, the background box. Anyways, up here, Jurassic World logo that's cracked up, cage setting, volcanic eruption in the background. Except this one's filled to the brim with like cardboard and blisters everywhere. But literally, it's it's a nice little display set, I would say. But it did give me a, a little bit of a hard time trying to open up the package without tearing it up completely. I mean, this one is a complete sacrifice. And Owen in blue, Claire and Gyrospear, the action feature it does. On each side, there's a Jurassic World logo on this side. And then back here, we got the figure information and production photo of it. The, the fact that it can fit two figures, Mattel's logo. The Roarvores, I'm expecting to get Triceratops next. And on the bottom, I guess you can expect this. Now that we got that out the way, let's continue. So first, we're going to get put the Claire figure first. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm impressed with the head sculpt. That uh, it matches Bryce Dallas Howard's look. Like, already, it's just like the Owen Grady figure. Like, the likenesses for these figures so far are really good. I have no problems with it at all. Not to mention, she looks really beautiful in figure form. Like, this is the first Claire figure that we ever gotten in the Jurassic World toy line or anything. I mean, aside from my other Claire figure that I made, but I'll get to that soon. Anyways, like, the overall posture and pose and everything, it's just really great. The articulation is pretty much the same. And the, uh, well, I just like pretty much the overall detail of this. There is another Claire figure coming out in the Wave 2 with a yellow jacket and longer sleeves, but I won't be getting that one because, well reasons I have this one this is the more movie accurate version of the Claire that we see in uh, the movie it's got nice detailing all around even in the boots as well also like how they didn't add the uh, number up on well the the buttocks area <laughs> I had to be humorous though because well if I had to get the uh, Owen figure out the fact that they put the number you know, like these numbers up on uh, Owen's butt here they didn't do it to Claire I thought that would be a, a nice touch they didn't do it so um i'm glad they put it on here on her boot instead because that's actually a more noticeable touch instead of putting it behind her you got a china logo and everything well you already know the deal is the figure is really well detailed i pretty much love this claire figure so much it is better than my old custom one that i made so now we got the claire figure out the way let's get the gyrosphere out the way first first impressions 
this thing is absolutely amazing. Like, overall, how come we never gotten something like this back in 2015? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, there is a cracked up, like, this cracked up detail that we got on here. But this is the, uh, the separate piece that it comes with just to complete it. And it rolls around and the uh, the seats really stay in place at times. And then when it, it actually does get a lot more fun once you like roll it around, aim it on the side, it kind of twists it around and everything. Like this is, this is fun. There's actually two, I guess two more gyrospheres. One with the vehicle and one with the uh, RC, and one that's an RC vehicle, I think. I thought those were the ones. There might be more, I'm not sure if I've forgotten. Taking a look inside the gyrosphere, we get the seats, and they also got the Jurassic World logo uh, implanted on there twice, which is actually a little interesting. And then you got these clamps that can hold the figures in, which I thought was really a good idea because literally we need vehicles to actually clamp uh, figures in so they can fit them in. Same that goes with the submarine that I saw up there at Target, which I showed you in the montage. Like overall, everything about this is well detailed. There's like a lot of detail. Like, on this dang thing, it's so movie accurate. Flipping it over here, like, yeah. Also, there's screw holes, and they're the most obvious place to put them. This is where you put screw holes, not almost in various, like, I don't know, in the wrong places. And here's Owen and Claire inside the gyrosphere in action. Oh my god, this is so good. Just, how could we never gotten anything like this back in 2015? Again, I keep asking that question over and over. It really works well. <laughs> like that's just straight up amazing also uh, I just want to try this out for craps and giggles this is ridiculously good I mean if you still have the Indominus Rex from Hasbro like literally this will be really good even though this gyrosphere is way bigger than the Indominus Rex itself because again you saw the movie but this thing <laughs> just, just fun I would say it's fun here's a comparison so now I've gotten the old Claire and old Owen, which I haven't gotten that much of a properly introduced review back in the other one. Like I should have, I should have uh, compared these two in the Owen review. But yet again, now you see them. But yet again, comparing it to uh, the Claire figure from 2015, which is my custom Claire with the new 2018 Claire. Obviously enough, the new Claire beats my old one in any day. I would say. Yet again, I still like my old one. But yet again, I. I would go for this new one any day anyway. I mean, the newest ones obviously beats my old customs. Because customs are just customs. Well, that's the truth. Here's a little comparison between Blue and Claire. And here's a comparison with the legacy figures I collected. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though. Remember when I said in the early Sally review I had to point out the arms are a little bit of a rubbery feel? This is something that I think I like the Claire figure for more. Like, literally, the arms are a much more harder feel. I I'm like... When I try to bend them, they're not really that freaking uh, rubbery and everything. Like, let's compare, oh, no, let's Claire, no, not Claire, Ellie Sattler. Like, her arms are in this rubbery feel that feels a little bendable. Like, that's a one flaw I, did, I pointed out. But yet again, like, the arms are actually on the same sculpt, but it's kind of strange, though, considering how this is, like, a rubbery feel, and this is a more, like, harder, you know, like, a harder rubber feel. This one's much better, I would say. So there you have it, that's the review of the Claire with Gyrosphere figure set from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This figure is definitely good, I recommend picking it up. But if you have alternatives to buy in the cheaper version that will come out in Wave 2 for $8, that's a better alternative. But yet again, this this is really good. $15 is definitely worth it, even though it's $14.99, but I have to pay like $16.21 for it for the tax. But yet again, like this is really a good figure. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for more.